Hola, greetings and salutations. It is I, your host, Cinema King, coming back at you today. Today we are talking, <laughs> whoa, Good Burger 2. So, Good Burger 2. If you had told me that in 2024, now granted the movie came out in November of 2023, but I'm still doing some house cleaning from last year. Uh, but if you had told me in 2024 you're going to be doing a sequel or you're going to be doing a review to a sequel, a review to a sequel you never thought was coming. I mean, I don't know how I would have reacted because the idea of Good Burger 2 in my head just kind of went out the window a long time ago. Not because I don't love Good Burger and wasn't hoping for it, but because did I really expect them to make a Good Burger sequel all these years later? Really didn't. Um, I'm glad they did. Some of the jokes in this really, really work. And I mean, they work like gangbusters. Um, the big thing that works the most is Keenan and Kel are just as funny as ever together in this. The jokes that don't really work are a lot of the sort of newer jokes. Because this movie, not unlike a lot of reboots and sequels, relies heavily on nostalgia. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, nostalgia is great, especially when it's done right. There are aspects of this movie that really pull the nostalgia strings hard and make you go, oh, I see what they did there. That's great. There are other aspects of the nostalgia in this that go, okay, that was a little too forced. A lot of the humor from the younger characters in the movie that aren't Ed and Dex don't come off as great. And I'm not saying that to be mean or to say that these young kids don't have talent because some of them do have talent. But I will, I do feel like the younger kids in this are simply there as filler to try and pull in a younger audience with the parents that are coming for Keenan and Kel. I don't think it's a bad movie, but I don't think it's a great movie. I feel like there there could have been better attempts at trying to age up the audience for this movie. I know it's still a Nickelodeon produced movie, but I feel like we should have grown up with Ed and Dex and that Ed and Dex should have grown up. So that's my review. I truly did enjoy revisiting these characters because who doesn't love Good Burger? But... If they do it again, I'd like to see a little bit more effort applied. I'm your host, Cinema Kane. I hope you enjoyed this review of Good Burger 2. If you did, don't forget to click like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell notification so you know every time Cinema Kane has a new video uploaded. And don't forget to share this on all your social media platforms to help me grow the channel. I really appreciate all of you who have so far, and I'll see you next time at the video store.